Ren. Ren, you're, Ren, you're angry. Ren, you're too angry. Calm down. Ren. Ren. I ran the episode and started yet. Ren. Stop. Ren, stop. Ren. Run, 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 run. Ren. Stop, Ren. Don't do it, Ren. Don't do it. Don't be angry, Ren. You're angry. Don't do it. Don't stop it. No. Bad. No. I don't like it. Ren, don't be angry. Ren, stop. The episode hasn't started yet. Don't do it. No. We're not ready yet. Cease. Why am I talking to a thumbnail? Um, anyway, hey, hi-ho, and howdy, everyone. My name is... I don't remember. After the accident. Um, anyway. I'm me, you're you. Um, what the heck are we here doing today? Well, as you can tell by my random... R ren... My random... That sounds dangerously close to another word that doesn't need to be added in this conversation. My random... Ren shenanigans would imply that clearly we're watching Tsukasuka. I was trying desperately to find another show that has a Ren in it, and even then it doesn't really count because her name's Nefren, and no one really calls her Ren. Maybe like maybe once or twice. I can't remember. I gotta go back and rewatch it again. It's a very good show. I need to be ready to cry though, cause tears. Happiest girl in the world. Oh, fuck. I'm ruined. Um, anyway, point is, we're here for Ruby. Not that thing. That was, that was, a, that was a show we watched a long time ago. It's not. What the fuck is happening? Um, anyway, yeah, so we're here once again for another episode of Ruby. Uh, this time it is episode four, Fault. And I'm going to imagine we're not talking about, like, a fault line. We're not talking about, like, perhaps there will be an earthquake. I don't know. That could happen. Whereas in the situation we're in right now, anything is possible as long as it means things are going to get worse. So, you know, that's just that's just kind of how it do. Um, I imagine it's more like a, it is your fault. <laughs> yes, you. You did this. Did what? I don't fucking know, but you did it. You're at fault. Um, I don't know. Anyway, um, as of right now, uh, episode three still hasn't gone up yet. Um, I'm, re I'm recording this the, the night the episode comes out. Uh, I do apologize for that. Um, or you're welcome, depending on if it made it easier in some way. It didn't. That's not how this works. Um... I mean, it could. Technically, it could. There was a reason I did say that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm sorry that it was a little late. Uh, but, yeah, I uh, wasn't able to get the episode up uh, as early as I wanted to. Plus, uh, it was Thanksgiving and stuff, so I don't know if maybe that had an effect in some way, shape, or form on uh, RT getting stuff out, unblocked, or whatever. I don't fucking know. But the episode isn't out yet, so uh, hopefully it'll be out tomorrow after I'm done recording this. I mean, it won't be, like, after I'm done recording this. I mean, it will be after eventually, because anything in the future is technically after that moment in history. Could you ever think about that? You doing anything, I dropped my phone on the table, that just marked a point in history, and everything else that ever comes ahead of it does that. That's fucking crazy. Except it's not, because that's just what time is, but... You can make it sound so much cooler than it is. Um, it's the little things in life. Um, anyway. Yeah, so what the heck happened last time? Don't remind me. Um, actually, you, you can. I, I just rewatched it a couple times. Reactions. A powerful thing. Um, anyway. Yeah, so uh, last time we uh, ignored the shenanigans with the hound, though guessing by the thumbnail and the little bit of the description. Uh, that will not be the case today. Um, but uh, we're going to, or we went and uh, got to see the other side of things uh, with Ruby, Weiss, Blake, um, Penny, and Nora, and May up in the up in the military compound, figuring out their stuff, getting the, the launch codes and everything all worked out and set up and fantastic and wonderful, and that clearly went as well as it possibly could have. Yep, no problems there. Um... Yeah, so Nora is currently maimed to shit. Um, I mean, it could technically not be permanent, but that looks pretty permanent, right? The whole brutal scar shit all up her body. Yeah, looks pretty fucking permanent. So that's concerning. Um... So that's not great. She's currently unconscious, being taken off somewhere to hopefully be made sure she's okay. Uh, Penny is currently sad 
uh, and because she had to walk away from the gang because Pietro's like, hey, you should be up here in Amity when we get up so that Salem can't go like, that's mine. I'm going to take the whole of you and be evil with it. Um, as is her custom, as an evil man. Um, yeah, so she's off there. She fought the Aesops. Twas pretty great. Held her own for a bit. Mero's little fucking snappy do is kind of a pain in the ass to deal with sometimes, now in it. It's a difficult pupper. Um yeah, Harriet was a dick, Elm was a bit of a dick, Vine was somehow less of a dick, but still kind of dickish, and Mero was again still pretty much the most tolerable out of the bunch. It's like if there was one of them that was kind of redeemable and not a total shithead all the time, it would be Mero. Not perfect, but, you know, he's had his moments. Do you remember that part when Penny and Ruby go to meet him at the party? And as soon as he sees Penny, his fucking tail starts. Away. He's like, oh my god, it's Penny. And then Ruby shows like, god damn it. I remember that. Do you see that? It's adorable. It's adorable. We like Marrow. Don't be a dick, Marrow. Be a good boy, Marrow. He did a look back like, maybe this is wrong. It is. Shove your big fucking boomerang thing straight up Watts' ass and dip. Um, anyway. <laughs> Point is, um, yeah, that happened. They went and nicked uh, one of uh, Penny's little magical swordy doos. There's nothing magical about it. It's technology. It's, uh, te techno magic, maybe. Pietro the Technomancer. Um, Point is, they have that, uh, and they give to Watts. So presumably Watts is going to be like, I know how this works, therefore I now know how that works. Get fucked, Penny. Um, because Watts is a dick. And Ironwood's a moron for trusting him. Um, I know he feels like he's in control. Um, but, uh, newsflash, Ironwood. You're never in control. Don't know if you've paid attention in the past, but you have a history of being very bad at being in control. And you're kind of a dick. Um, anyway, point is, um... That'll happen there. Uh, we got a little bit of a talk about Ren and Nora's situation, and it made me very sad because I really like Nora. Everyone, really, There's no one who does not like Nora, and if they do, we kick that person directly in the dick. And or lady bits. What's the most effective part to kick on a lady? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, anywhere's going to feel not good. No one likes getting kicked anywhere. I feel like the face is a little much. Just because, like, she doesn't like a character, but. A flick of the titty? I don't know. I don't know what is. <laughs> We're going to move on from this completely valid conversation. It's one we'll have to answer eventually, but today is not that day. <laughs> anyway, what the fuck? Anyway, point is, uh, yeah, last episode. Uh, oh, I almost forgot the most important thing that happened in the episode. Um. The true villain of the series was revealed. What the fuck, Bill? You put salmon in the microwave, Bill? Um, so <laughs> that whole fucking scene is hilarious. And I d it was so unexpected. And it's one of the best bits in fucking Ruby. I don't know why it was just hilarious to me. But, but yeah. Just yelling at him. The dude who gets fucking spilled on him just fucking screaming. Specifically his... Like, the first one's kind of like, ah, it's fun. Ah, he burned his dick. Uh, and <laughs> him sprinting out of the room screaming why is the funniest shit in the world to I me. Mean, I don't know why. I am very easily entertained. It's a really funny scene. Um, It was really nice in an episode full of concern um oh also we had a direct uh, flat out laid on the table uh explanation of what ruby semblance is like i i'm kind of surprised how many people didn't catch on to what it was but you know yeah at least it's, it's ironed out on the table to be fair i had always just assumed it was like hey well she's turning herself in rose petals that's why she's so fast because she's just turning in a rose petal. yeah we, like we've established that a long time ago so, just saying it's surprising how many people don't catch on to stuff sometimes. I realize I watch the show a lot, so I'm biased as fuck. So, maybe I should not judge people too much. Um, 
Anyway, me having a problem doesn't mean that everyone else is just unobservant. Um, anyway. <laughs> and I do have a problem. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and check this out. This is episode four fault. What do I have to say about the channel uh, before we do? Uh, I did put out the first of our, uh, uh, the first of the kind of like theory videos I ever wanted to do. I mean, that's not true. I've wanted to do other ones and I would still like to do more of them. But I did the one on the hound. And I'm just glad people seem to enjoy it. Like, very few people watched it, but anyone who did watch it was really cool about it. Like, there was no, like, this is fucking stupid. And I'm like, well, yeah, I said that. <laughs> it's kind of a joke. But again, if I did call it a statue, um, if we need someone, I get it right. Someone has to commission art of Weiss for me, of me and Weiss married. Yeah, it's a binding contract. You watch this video, therefore it has to happen now. Um, anyway, <laughs> point is, I did it. It was fun. It was dumb, but I had a good time with it. Uh, and I redid that first line about 75 times. Um, this is why we script things. Oh, God. Um, anyway, so uh, that came out. Uh, the poll finished up here on the channel. Um, and we got our we got our winners. Uh, so if you haven't seen the video for that, our winners were Sound Euphonium and K on Season Two. So we Kyohanian like a motherfucker, and I'm all happy about that because Kyohani is that sweet, tasty goodness, and we love them. And I hope they're doing well. At least, yeah, yeah. I hope I hope they're doing well. I don't want, I want to see them getting back into it again because fuck me, they deserve to be able to make cool shit in this world again. Fuck. Um. Anyway. Point is, that's coming. Do I have anything else? I just put out the last episodes of Bloom into You, so if you guys want to see that, there's that. Uh, next up, I'm going to just, I think, I release the last four, yeah, four episodes of Nana Biori, uh, with maybe like a Pokemon scattered in there, uh, with maybe some else starting. Um, and then we can move on completely to like Psychono and stuff, and I can start recording Sound Euphonium and Kaon and stuff like that. And it's gonna be great. It's gonna be real great. I enjoy it muchly so. Um, anyway. Do I have anything else to say? No. So I'm going to end the video. No. Uh, we're going to go ahead and watch this. Volume 8. Episode 4. Fault. Whose fault is it? It's mine. That the last episode didn't come out at the right time. Boom. Bars and it works out. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this in 3, 2, 1... Go. Internet, don't screw me. I don't like when people screw me unless it is wise. Yes! Or Meech. Or Nanami. Or Ichigo. Uh, Rem. Uh. Uh. Um. Um. Maho. Kurosu. <sighs> Suza. Holo. Emmy. Neptune, Rin, Hanako, Lily, uh, Inaba. Not really Menma. Menma just breaks my heart. Um, Ruby. Yeah. Lawrence? Um, anyways. <laughs> what is happening? I should look at the video. <laughs> Dumb bits are stupid, but Shannon likes them. So. We'll never bloom. Some dreams will rot on the vine. Some lives will end much too soon. <laughs> Some wars will not end in peace. Some heroes choose the wrong side. Some life will be fun. I keep fucking up. My brain wants to go, it's worth the fall to risk it all, but it's not. That's the other way around. It's backwards. All right. Time to uh, re-enter the nightmare. It's the... <laughs> you should have seen the look on Joanna's face. What's we been? I don't think she'd ever lost a fight before that. At least... I like Chocolate Robin. Square. Did I mention I like Robin? Ruben can... R R Ruben. What the fuck? Ru... Ru... Rob... Ow. Fuck, Robin can go on that list. <laughs> crowd tonight. Guess Ironwood should have paid for better cell block entertainment. 
Yeah. And who smiles? Did I win? Hey, it's your game. Oh fuck, I like you too. Oh god damn it. I'm sorry for what happened. Yeah, it was pretty shit. It, it sucks. Wasn't your fault. It no, was, it wasn't. Though. No, it wasn't. I made a deal with the darkness. And he paid the price. It was Clover's fuck dumb so ass. So Tyrion's fast. murdering ass. Clover wouldn't let up. Could have worked together against Tyrion if Clover just Yeah. But the thing that really stings. For the first time in a while, I thought maybe I could be around somebody, anybody, without my semblance making it complicated. And now, it just feels like a childish dream. Gone, bud. Like everybody else. Believe it or not, I know a little of what that's like. Oh, sweetie. When people are worried you're gonna sniff out their secrets, they tend to push you away. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Difficult. I'm curious if that just kind of happens to. I wonder if of it that way. that's less active and more just kind of there. You don't get to keep that. I hey, fuck off, him. Harriet. Hmm. You keep saying that, but it was your God. You suck. You were voiced by an heiress, I'd said be pissed. Um, Why not open the you 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 just be a dick all the way around. She's uh, great. If I open the cell, it won't be to shake hands. Yeah, because you don't care about the truth. You just want someone to be mad at. Easier than taking an fucking a. That's the way it is sometimes, isn't it? Air, what are you doing? Easily fucking overconfident. Well, that was almost exciting. Mm. Oh, fuck. You flying dog bastard. Lose us in these mountains. We can't keep up. Longer these bikes can stand the cold. I'm really wishing one of us could fly right now. Yeah, that, that'd be pretty quick. Oh no shit. Going to get you up there. Oh, damn. That's fucking dope because he does have the gravity in there. Oh, you gotta be careful. Nice. He, he doesn't have aura anymore and that's a teeth. Damn. Okay, not as nice. But it's also nice him actually being able to get some use out of those uh, grappling things. God damn, he's getting his ass kicked. Be careful now. like something it would do. Was this her first song? That was in the opening? That's a good shot, too. Oh, 
man. Holy shit. But that, yeah. That fucking whale, dude. The monster's fucking terrifying. Oh. You've picked a fine time This is not what I was expecting. Word. We're coming in. Yeah. Careful, boy. We will just Things kick you directly in the dick. After what you did to father. Now you want us Fuck to harm him. fugitives too? Our family has a reputation. That's what you're worried about? Your reputation? I'm going to be a reputation after the goddamn the city is gone, dude. And mother locked herself in her room. Maybe you haven't figured out what's going on, Whitley, but we're busy trying to save Atlas. Look, our friend is hurt. We just need a place to lay low while she rests, and then we'll be out of your way. Fine. Come on, bud. What do you expect me to do then? Go to your room. Damn. This way. Nice with the mom energy, shit. Oh, sweetie, fuck. Ruby? I don't like it. I hope everyone's doing all right. Oh, if they're not. About Yang. You could always try calling her. They're super not. That's the thing. I did. Ah, oh, shit. I repeat, if anybody can hear me. <sighs> Y'all just in the middle of goddamn nowhere. It. Yeah. Just stuck out in the tundra. We need to get out of this weather before the cold drops our ores completely. How much farther to the outpost? Ren, how much? I don't know. I thought you said you saw it when you were up in the air. I did, before I had to cut myself loose to help you guys. Yeah, you've brought that up a couple times now. <sighs> Something you need to say? Not really. Wouldn't want to waste any more time. Dude, you've gotta fucking fix this hey, shit. It's gotta what stop. What's your deal? Don't I love you, it. but well, you've got to fucking things stop. Things aren't going smoothly enough for you. Guys, they're not going smoothly at all. I hate to break it to you, but that's part of being a huntsman. Are you kidding? We don't know the first thing about being huntsmen. We clearly weren't ready. Guys, stop it. Were we not ready when we saved Haven? When we took down a Leviathan? We got the lamp to Atlas. And then we lost it. And after that, when we had to make real decisions, we got every <sighs> single one wrong. I'm not going to pretend like we did everything perfectly. But if we'd done nothing, things would be even worse than they are now. How could they possibly be worse? We are stuck out here while oh. Salem has the land. Oh, it can always Oscar. be worse. No plan, no army. We've got the maiden. And by keeping her from opening the vault for Ironwood, we're just trapping the whole city for Salem. People are going to die because of us. So what? We should just give Ironwood what he wants? Abandon Mantle? You think Atlas is still going to be able to float to safety now that she's here? I don't know. But these aren't the kinds of decisions we should be making because we have no idea what we're doing. Okay, both of you, cut it out. I'm just saying what nobody else wants to. We're in way over our heads. Hey, Jean, you gotta slap the shit out of someone. I just orphan from the middle of nowhere. Ren, I you am cheated your way into bacon. <sighs> you don't think we should be huntsmen? Fine. But I'm getting out of the cold. Still got a job to do. Seriously, is your goal just to push everyone away? Fuck. She's not wrong though. Oscar, you're you're you are making it so much worse by freaking the fuck out. What? The fuck. Satan? My long lost Ozma. Oh, Satan. Found at last. Oh, I don't like you. This is awful. So small, this new host of yours. Please leave the boy alone. It's a wonder my hound didn't break you. You creepy motherfucker, ah. It's Both been, of you. How many years since we saw each other like this, face to face? And nothing to say. <sighs> I'm sorry the reunion isn't living up to your expectations. Can you not? You can pretend, boy. But you're not fully him. Not yet, at least. Well, perhaps you and I can have a better working relationship. 
Oscar, was it? The beacon relic. My forces have been unable to locate the relic beneath the school. If I know my Ozma, he has used some means of deception to hide its location. Oh, he does like doing numbers. that shit. I need to know where it is. I... That's not something I know about. Of course. You would keep that one guarded as long as possible. At least you're How under something easier than understanding on that front. That's appreciated. The password for the lamp. The lamp is all out of questions. That was not a very convincing lie, bud. much care if it is you or Ozma. Either way, I'll finally have the relic. I won't tell you anything. Hmm. Hey, Sol. Hey. Wait. Wait. Fuck off, Hazel. That was for Haven Academy. You <laughs> fucking dickhead. <laughs> Jesus. Everything that follows will be for my sister. God, I hate him. I hate did you fuck? <laughs> Your grace, I what is that? Fucking concerning An experiment. So far I am pleased with the results. Did you need something, Cindy? It's a hell of a science yes, project there, man. I I want to search for the Winter Maiden. I think. Do you hear that, my pet? She thinks. She wants. Damn. As if she's done something that warrants me caring about either of those. Damn. Things. I mean, you right. Fuck Cinder. <laughs> Without the maiden power, the vault means nothing. Neo Let agrees. Me it for you. I will tell you when and where you are needed. But your grace. <laughs> I'd like to think I have shown a great deal of patience over my many years walking remnant, but I do hate repeating myself. You will remain here. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, of course. Without you, I am nothing. I know what she said. I just want to check Oh, something. you're gonna anyone, get yourself please. so fucked up, Cinder. What are, you're so dumb. You're the worst. <laughs> you're the worst. Know those children like I do. That's they great. Just abandon their misguided attempt to save Neo, the just world. fucking kick her off. Just kick her off and dip. Uh, if she doesn't want to, I'll come. No. I've been working on my semblance. I can help. I won't tell anybody. How much did you overhear? <sighs> it's all bad. I don't know if I've said that enough times this fucking You're right. season already, but Jesus. I, I did cheat my way into Beacon. Yeah, and, and then I'm you proved that you deserve to be there. Me to help me see that I was bigger than that mistake. You've got people around God you. Goddamn right. You don't have to force yourself to be strong. The more you hide from what you're feeling, the more alone you're going to feel. Yeah. Trust me. You're our boy, Ren. We fucking love you. Just knock this shit Anyone off. Cares. I found a part to fix the bike. So, yay! Good news. For what it's worth, I'm sorry he said that to you. I know you've had to work hard to get here, Jean. We're all under a lot of stress right now. I used to push people away too. Yeah. 
definitely uh, feels very similar, actually, to, to the jaundice and forever fall of it all. Do you think she thinks less of me for not helping out with Amity? Ruby is your sister. No, man. She's always going to love you, even if you disagree with each other. Yeah. Yeah. Ruby. Oh. I need to get some sleep, but I can't. My brain didn't go this. there. I was I was on the go same on. train as Jean, but I'll suddenly, sure buzz, buzz. <laughs> Thanks. I just have a bad feeling. Things always seem to get worse before they get better. Ah, fuck. What the fuck now? What the fuck is that? We do not need more evil right now. <laughs> we, we, no thanks. We are, we are topped up. We are full. Uh, full to capacity on evil bullshit. No more, please, and thank you. I appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but we do not need more of that. Um. <sighs> what if we didn't? Um, shit. It's not good. <laughs> remember when we had a lot of fun moments in the last episode? I don't remember having any of those in this one. That's a shame. It was nice while it lasted. Um, fuck. Okay. So where are we right now? Okay. T Team Ruby or the, the... I don't I don't have good names for them. But, you know, Ruby, Weiss, Blake, Nora, May... The gang, uh, over there, to hold up at the, uh, at the Schnee Manor. That, that makes sense. It's, it's a place for them to hide out. Hopefully, Iron wouldn't catch on to that and be like, well, maybe Weiss went home. But to be fair, I don't know if anyone would assume that because the last fucking place on earth that Weiss would be, would want to be, would be home <laughs> because it's pretty shit. Um, anyway, but it's good to know they're there. Hopefully they can get in order to kind of rest up a little bit. Um, we are closing in on nighttime. It looks like we're we're already closing in on this next day. It seems. Um, so that's that's the thing. Uh, so they're there. Whitley is again. We in, in volume seven. It it definitely did give the impression that in the end, what we're going to want to do, what we're going to try to do, because Weiss is a fucking good soul and we love her, and big I own this house now, bitch energy. Jeez, it goes straight to jail. Um, and by jail I mean your bedroom. Um, point is, uh, you know, after the the discussion with Willow, I think it very much makes a lot of sense that Weiss would want to kind of try and mend things up with Whitley at least a little bit. Um, even if maybe she needs to talk to the talk to the gang a little bit more, or what, or they just need to have a long talk, or maybe she needs to talk to Willow again. Either way, um, I do think that is something that is at least in, in is is in the in the works down the line to attempt to do. Even if it doesn't work out in the end, I do feel that she will attempt to. Um, then I do think it will probably work out in the end. How long will it last? I don't know. Again, pretty much, Atlas is fucked. This volume, like, like we're not, like, I am going to be absolutely astonished if there is an Atlas left at the end of this volume. I, I, I just, I don't see that happening. And if there's no Atlas, that means there's no Shnee Manor. There is no Shnee Dust Company. There, all of that is just gone. Um, obviously, there's, there's gonna be Shnee Dust Company bits all over the world because it's the, tis the big company, but. Yeah, as far as anyone's really concerned, at least until they can deal with Salem, which will not be happening anytime soon, um, th then all of that shit is is just gonna be done. Um, but you know, so I'm 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 curious, curious when and exactly. How. I wasn't expecting us to be heading back here as soon as we are. It does raise some concerns. 
Uh, because while I, I don't think Whitley, I, I don't think Whitley would die at any point in here, but I think like he could, I don't think he would, but I think he could, um, again, perhaps kind of getting his shit together and, you know, working with, with everyone. And eventually it comes back to put him in a situation where, where he ends up having to go. Um, Willow is still the, the one like Willow, Jacques, Willow and Jacques in particular, I think just, yeah, I, I don't, and not that I'm not bummed about Jacques, fuck that guy, but I'm just saying like, I think he makes the most of my sense that he's going at some point. Like there's, again, like I said before in the past, he doesn't give anyone anything anymore. He's there at this point as baggage for Ironwood. Um, and maybe you could get one last, like, oh, hey, could you tell me this or that out of, like, Salem or Ironwood or something like that. But at that point, he's just useless. Um, so, yeah, I, I I don't think he, he pulls through. There's there's no redemption for that motherfucker. Um, he, he wouldn't take it in a million years anyway. There's no hesitation in his shittiness. Like, there there's room for Whitley. There's room for winter. Willow's not really a bad person. She's she's not the greatest mom. She's not the the best person in the world. But she's not evil either. She's not a total shithead. She's a broken drunk. And, you know... And don't get me wrong. Kind of a rich snob. But, you know... Yeah. So, I don't know. It's It's complicated. Point is, I do think Willow is still very, very likely... Um, hopefully she would have a moment where she has her stuff together and she can pull through and she can, you know, kind of, again, I've talked about it in the past before with people, but I, I think the ideal way for her to send off would be to do right by her kids before she does, you know, really kind of, yeah, I don't know, just, just, just stand up for them, protect them and help guide them a little bit and, you know, be a mom, um, and Jacques can just fuck off. But anyway, so the, the the fact that they're there right now kind of concerns me. Um, because what are the chances someone shows up at? Because uh, they're specifically they're hiding. So what are the chances someone shows up there looking for them? Um, whether that again be Ironwood or something like. Because he does think about how. Oh yeah maybe this happened or something like that and then we could use that to help us get to penny to be to be fair again watts has the sword or had the sword and did whatever he wanted to do and then got thrown back in fucking jail but i don't know i know i just i feel like them being there puts willow in more danger now that they're all in the same area hopefully we can get some some needed emotional discussion out and they can work together and figure stuff out first but in the end I don't, I don't see that ending well. Um, anyway, so there's that. Uh, they're, they're, they're camped out there. Hopefully they can do something to help out Nora. Um, again, Willow is locked up in her room at the moment. Whitley is now locked up in his room at the moment. Yeah, I'm still very curious if we will see Klein again. Uh, I, I feel like we'll at least get a, a, a quick visit from him at some point. Hopefully it's not the last thing we ever get of him, but, you know, again, considering the situation, I don't find it unlikely that that would be the case, uh, but I would like to see him again. I, I love me some J. Michael Tatum, and I like Klein. He's a, he's a, he's a cool lad. I'd like to see all of the kind of, like, cool little Atlas people we've seen in the past. Klein, uh, C.L. Soleil, fucking Neon, Flint, uh, and... Ebony, Ebony and Ivory. Well, obviously, we don't have any real connection to Ebony and Ivory. We do... We, we, hey, we do love Neon fucking Flint. They're the real ones. Um, anyway, point is, there's that. Um, and then, yeah, uh, Oscar is officially on the whale, is on Monstra. And it's not going well. Um, I actually, again, I don't, I don't like Salem. <laughs> she's, she's, she's unpleasant. I'm not a fan. Um, but uh, I, I did actually really like uh, getting to see... She's a total dick here. Uh, but I actually did really like getting to see 
more of her interacting in here because you know yeah, she's she's one of those characters that while she's very very important she's covering a lot and she's 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 le big bad um yeah so so long as she's there we we still haven't we still only get bits and pieces of her um so having a lot of extended interaction with her in here i think was really really nice um and not just where she's like i'm just this the this like the queen in the room but a lot more kind of just just kind of shitty to cinder which to be fair is really nice because uh fuck cinder uh <laughs> she's she's the worst uh jessica doing a great job bringing this terrible person to life which sounds like it's not a compliment but it is it, re it really is um <laughs> um but yeah no it, that was really nice it was really interesting getting to see her interact with Os uh, oscar obviously we didn't have any ozma ozpin interaction with her um because he's kind of keeping that locked down at the moment um i suspect that would be a thing but it was interesting to see how she would actually interact with him uh because the closest thing we'd ever gotten to that before really is obviously flashback stuff uh which is a little bit different obviously um and uh the i can't wait to watch you burn scene from uh volume three but yeah so it was it was actually really cool to see there there was actually a lot of stuff from salem i really enjoyed seeing there was some there was some cool shots and there was i don't know i just i appreciated getting to see more of her interactions and stuff again i don't love that she was bullying my son um but you know it, it was expected um <sighs> Anyway, um, <laughs> there's that. Uh, Hazel can fuck off. D just, again, how that man can be so like, how could you do this to children? And then just beat the ever-loving shit out of a small child is... <sighs> just gotta remember. For, for what he says he has in the way of, like, morals or a code, what he's had from the, like, no one needs to die today, he's still a total dick. He's still a bad person. Just, just a bad person. Um, yeah, fuck off, Hazel. Um, anyway, so there was that. Uh, continuation with that, obviously we got to see more of the Hound. I, I don't know, I just find the Hound really interesting and cool. That's why I made a 20 minute video talking about something that will never happen. Um, anyway, I think it's really cool. I still want to see if we can get more of it. Um, or again, if it's just fucking, it's just a grim that she made and it's kind of cool. Either way, it's a cool grim. Um, creepy. It's all like fucking gargoyleish and shit holding them up. It was <clears throat> no like. Um, anywhere's that. Uh, again, really liked seeing Cinder get yelled at. That's always fun. Um, Neo continuing to not have any of her shit. So again, ev ever closer to the brink of just, just you, all you had to do was just kick her the fuck off. She doesn't have. Actually, she can fly. Wait, never mind. A mistake. That would be bad for Neo. The ice cream would melt. Um, point. <laughs> I forgot she can fly. Anyway, um, point is, yeah. Just I I hope it's it it gets her a step farther or closer there. Um, and obviously, uh, we left off there with Cinders immediately going against, um, Salem stuff, uh, because she's an idiot, uh, <laughs> and, uh, Emerald wants to kind of tag along so they can have their binding moments because Emerald doesn't comprehend abuse. Um, anyway, <laughs> she does not understand the situation she's in. This very unpleasant, weird, funky, codependent relationship. Is it codependent? Dependent? I don't know. She's dependent on her co-worker. Um, anyway. Her colleague. Her murderous colleague. <laughs> I was trying to find more things, and I just kept saying the same thing. Anyway. <sighs> Point is, they're going to be off there. Um, I don't know if, it, again, the way it made it sound is like Neo won't be going with them. So, uh, the the thing I would potentially wager is they go off and try and do their shit. Um, 
Emerald continues to see more and more maybe how Cinder's a piece of shit. Maybe if she can possibly, if that's if that's literally possible for her to do without someone screaming it in her face like, idiot sandwich, listen to me. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Um, yeah, hopefully maybe she can kind of glean a bit of the how Cinder isn't worth following anymore and never was in the first place uh, sort of thing from that. And maybe she can, again, push towards the thing I want most of all, which is her and Neo to fucking dip. Um, again, I, I have no fucking, yeah, Mer Merc's definitely not. I, I have no faith in Mercury. He doesn't want to. He has no want to. Y'all see volume six? I did. You made a, you made it very clear that this was not on his fucking menu. Um, and I think, again, the opening lends itself to that as well. Anyway, point is, hopefully maybe that can lead to something. We'll have to wait and see. Um, there's that. And obviously, uh, then the last thing to talk about would be, um, the Yang Ren Jean. And what was Oscar side of things? Um Yeah, man, it just it, it, it sucks. It sucks. Cause again, like we really like Ren. I I really, really enjoy Ren. He's a really cool person. He's great. Neath, I wanna just say too, is Neath, you fucking killed it. Here that that back and forth between um uh, Ren and uh, fucking Yang was really, really good. Uh, obviously, obviously prop, props to Barb as well, but I, I wanted to definitely shout out Neath as well because, like, again, he 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 is taken on a role uh, through this, and uh, it, I, 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 as far as I know, this wasn't like he. I always wanted to be a voice actor for like I don't believe that was ever really Neath's intentions or plans, uh, but obviously that changed. Um, and I just, I just want to say that he is, he is really, really, really grown, and like he has done that, that, that scene in particular is extremely well done, and I really respect the work he put into it. I don't know, I, it felt very, it felt very real and natural and just really good. I so yeah, huge shout outs to Neath. Um, it was really, really good. Obviously, again, shout outs to Miles and um, to Barb, but yeah. Anyway. Anyway, just want to shout that out because it was a really good scene. Again, it was a really good scene in general. Um, I, I hated it because I, I don't like... I don't like Ren being the way that he is. And again, I, I get it. Like, n none of it is something that I do not understand. But it's not good. It's bad. It's going... It is it is it is literally only going to make things worse. Not only are you dividing yourselves between each other, you're separating, you're starting to branch off and become more and more alone, like Jean was saying. You're tearing, you know, you're tearing each other apart. Like, that's, it's it's not, it, it's bad for morale. It means you're less like, you can actually end up splitting up and being torn apart in that way. Like, it's, it's not good. It's bad. Like, it's it's okay to be upset. But... Yeah. Too much, and it, it's really gonna do some damage. Um, and at least he's he's getting to hear some of that. He's getting to hear Yang's things, and he, he's getting to hear some of you know Jean trying desperately to help. Um, it it was it was interesting hearing the uh, uh, hearing the poll about um, going back to volume one again with. Jean, um, cheating, into be uh, cheating his way into Beacon, um, I don't know, I, I just, I, I thought it was, I thought it was interesting, and again, I, I do think there, there's a bit of parallel for sure, um, between Jean back then and Ren now, uh, I, I think it makes a lot of sense that he's like, hey, I've, I've kind of, I've been there, like, I get it, but, the, but you don't want to do that, you're doing a lot of the same shit I used to do, and it was it was pretty bad. We don't, it was, it was pretty shit. <laughs> a lot of people didn't like that part of the first volume. Um, anyway, like I don't know. It's it, it sucks because again, we 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 love Ren, and we want him to be to be good. We want him to be happy. We want him to be healthy. We want the same for Nora, and we want the same for them together. Um, anyway, there's that. Uh, it seems they're going to do what they can to try and repair the bikes. Again, it sounds like they are kind of stuck there for the night. Um, and, uh, 
so yeah, then there's the ice. So something is in the ice. Something bad. Um, I would go so far as to wager it's probably a grim. I know, crazy. Like it's probably a penguin. I mean, what else could it have been? Um, anyway, point is, I think it's safe to say it's a grim of some kind. Um, obviously, uh, you have to question is kind of what. Um, you know, thinking back to just the last episode, I think it would be an interesting, uh, just a fun little bit of foreshadowing had it been the case. Don't know yet, uh, because under that ice would presumably be some water, or potentially be some water. Um, and if that is the case... Um, we did literally just have a shark grim show up as a joke. <laughs> so, uh, Megalodon grim, anyone? <laughs> I don't know if it would necessarily fit there, um, but I, I I don't know again if that was if that was just ice over water or if that was straight up out of the ground. Because um, obviously we we've seen subterranean grim before. The sentinels are a big noticeable thing, or a notable thing out here in Solitas. So. I don't know. Uh, can you imagine like a giant snow worm monster? Or like like a, just a giant sentinel? Like you know how you have like alpha beowulfs and ursa majors. You have giant more advanced versions of things. Like if you had that but it was a sentinel. But it was like one of those like a big fucking sandworm for dune. But it was in the snow. That'd be wild. Bananas crazy. Um. Anyway. Uh, so I'm curious what it is again. Obviously the other... Uh, thing to obviously kind of compare it to is in the opening there there's flat out them standing on the ice it breaking through and them falling into the water um and and then there's the the grim hands again what kind of crazy shit would that be you just have a bunch of apathy crawl out the fucking water um i don't i doubt that would be the case but if so we're just fucked <laughs> we're just we're just done we're just done at that point um but, uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what it is. Um, yeah, I'm very, very curious to see what it is. Uh, and, again, I'm curious, again, thinking back to the water and since we're touching on breaking through the ice and potentially into the water, um, I'm curious if there is more to that shot in the opening. Obviously, like, again, I didn't mention it in the opening because I didn't think about it. Uh, I, I, did, I, I talked about it in the opening video that I made. Um, I, I put a little addendum and they're like, hey, other people had mentioned it, and I didn't think about it before. But the, the similarity, similarities of the water to what seemed like the water of life, um, I obviously, I, I, I would doubt that that's the case, that that's going to really appear or anything like that. Um, it would be crazy if that was Solitas just all the way back then or something like that. Um, I do doubt it, though. I, 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 for some reason, doubt there would be Grim in it were it the case. Um, what would happen if you put Grimm in the waters of life? We know what happens if you put an immortal thing into the pools of Grimm. What would happen if it was kind of the opposite? I don't know. Also, if you put put him in the waters of life, do, do you immediately gain immortality? You probably don't, right? You, we, that was more like a specific like, hey, we threw her in there. But but we but we 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 did the we did the thing where like yo you're immortal now son, but if so I wonder if 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 it's the water's life could you bring someone back to life heal someone or something like that? It's it, yeah I don't know it's it's the it's the it's the water from that one episode of what was it it was a TV movie is what it was my frying pan's a drying pan thanks Brock um anyway boy. but there was like the, the magical spring water it wasn't magical it was just really good spring. Team Rocket showed up. Dump shit in the water. Mewtwo was pissed. Anyway, point is, I won't watch that again. Fucking, what was her name? Was it, was the fucking, is Domino? Was it Double O Domino? I feel like it was for the sake of the bit. Um, That's not the point. We're here to talk about Ruby. Um, Point is, something's on the water. Or at least under that ground. Something is bad, and I'm scared. Um... So yeah, we still don't know exactly what Watts did. We know what he wants to do. He made it very fucking blatant and obvious. Um, I, I I didn't talk about the scene with uh, Robin and Crow 
though. I, I really, like, obviously, I really liked, again, I really, really like Robin. She's, she's a lot of fun. I'm such a fucking fan for Christina, so, obviously. Um, but I just like Robin as a character. I think she's fun. I, I really appreciate that those two are, I mean, getting a chance to talk. They don't have anything else to do but sit there and talk to each other. So, it, it's really nice getting to see them interact. It, it's, it was nice getting her little bit of, like, hey, you know, I kind of get it. Like, like I kind of get it. Like, if you have the semblance that makes it like, hey, I can tell when you're lying to me. I always know the truth. You can't keep secrets anymore. Yeah, people probably aren't going to be around that person because people really like to lie. <laughs> people have secrets for a reason. Do you want to know a secret right now? There are currently three tabs open on my computer. Or on my, uh, my browser. One of them is my channel's video, like my channel videos tab. For like, hey, it just I put it, blah, 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 we got fucking, we kill Annie and again, bloom into you and I'll be, yeah, like that, just because it's fun of videos earlier. The third one is this episode right here, and the, the middle one there is a secret, uh, and that, the reason it's a secret is because it's porn. Um, <laughs> it's some very nice facial art. Um, anyway, point... <laughs> point is people have secrets um and anyway so like i like i totally get having that um obviously it and then, at least i say obvious it's like but i don't actually know how we we don't really know how our semblance works if it is purely passive or if it is passive and it just happens it's like hey steve it's good to see you you lied to me it's terrible to see me um also my name is robin um <laughs> <laughs> point is is it that or is it active do you actually have to do that either way it still stands as like it would be a deterrent for people um like it's it's a it's a very useful nice thing but it's a good way to scare people away because you'll tell them that you have yep that's still porn um anyway point <laughs> didn't change while i was away from it point official's really good and that's not the point but it's very highly accurate. Um, anyway. Yeah, so, so like, I, I really appreciated that. And I, I also appreciated it right there towards the end. You kind of get a little bit of curl. Like, I didn't, never thought about that, actually. And, and I don't know, I just, I really like seeing them interact. I like seeing him kind of be able to crack a smile and laugh at her dumb jokes and shit. I, I really like those two. Number one, I just like them as characters. But I really, really enjoy those two as friends and as more maybe down the line. And I think that's very much a possibility. And I think they can already start to kind of build potentially to that being a possibility. Is it? Who knows? But could it? Very much so. Um, and again, I actually, I actually really like the idea of... I, I actually think I... Oh, do I want to make a whole video on that? Um, I, I like the idea of him teaming up him being friends with or more whatever the heck with someone that he shares that he shares a fault with or that he shares a curse with or that he shares a difficulty with more than someone who balances him out the idea of two people who might be shunned teaming up and going together being friends finding something special in each other is more appealing than Oh, you have someone who's broken and someone who's perfect, and then it balances out like that way. One is, I think, a cooler idea. Um, and again, I never really thought about that before, but I appreciated getting to see that side of it. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's that's really really cool. So, I I yeah, we we know I like those two. Um, anyway, <sighs> anything else? Jacques just being a twat, uh, <laughs> and Watts is back in his cell. So presumably he's already done his stuff, or they're just throwing him in there for the night. I don't know what's going on, um, but something is afoot. Anyway, I think I've officially run out of things to uh, talk your guys' ear off about uh, for this episode. It was really, really enjoyable. I really, really dug it. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to watching it again another 57 times. Uh, ooh. Go watch it. Go watch it. Hopefully tomorrow with the boy Jeff, with the man's, with the with the fella, with the dude. Ow, that's warm. Um, and it, <laughs> point is, I think it should be fun. Um, 
But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, give it a little bit of love. Uh, thank you as always for giving some love uh, to these videos. Again, Ruby is my favorite series. So every time you guys give it a little bit of love, it makes me very, very, very happy. Uh, hopefully, uh, with this, this certain Pokemon thing that I have coming soon, we can get some love on there as well. But who knows? If not, doing it for me anyway. So fuck all these people. Um, yeah, that's right. Fuck all these people. I'm in it for me, she. Um, anyway. Point is, thank you for watching. I will catch you guys next time for episode number five uh, and or any other extra video I happen to do. Maybe there's another thing. Maybe I just sit there and talk about how much I really like Robin and Crow. And maybe that's the thing that I do and why I find that compelling. Even though I kind of just did it here. Maybe I do it again for style points. Because um, <laughs> fuck you, I want to talk about Ruby. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Tools, duels, and lemons, everyone. I'm scared. Very terrified. Help. I have my Ruby shirt. It's my other one. I have one of many Ruby shirts, but I got this Ruby shirt. It's good. Is it the manga one? Was that from the... Is that from the Shiro Miwa one? Is that is that who that is? It is, right? I think this is art style. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go. Someone please kick sail uh fuck it. I ruined my bit. I ruined the joke. So now we're gonna sit here and stew in it. Do we do another take? No, we don't. Because now it's too late. Someone kicked Cinder off the fucking whale. Ooh, what a great way to end the video. Some